Ernie Anastas, uh, anchor in New York, mm -hmm. said something rather curious on air, to say the least. First, let's watch it, and then I'll give you the uh, why he thinks he said it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's watch. Takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. <laughs> yes, that's right. You keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll do All that. right, before we continue, the law symbol has found lots of readers. No, no. Okay, that's awesome. You heard what he said, right? Keep fucking that chicken. That's so weird, right? But that's not why I love that clip. I love that clip because of the eyes of his co-anchor. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> that was the best part. All right, let's watch it one more time. Come on, let's have a little bit of fun. That's awesome. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. <laughs> yes, that's right. You keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll do All that. right, before we continue, the law symbol has found lots of readers. The other thing that I enjoy that no one's talking about is that the weatherman said, okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> now, he claims, Ernie Anass has been around a New York anchor for approximately 84 years. Uh -huh. Okay, When I was a little kid, Ernie Anastas was an anchor in New York. Mm -hmm. So he's been, literally been there for at least 25 years that I remember in my life. Okay, He keeps switching every, uh, throughout all the stations in New York, like every couple of years, Ernie Anastas will be on CBS or, mm -hmm. or Channel 11, and he'll go around and around. Anyway, so uh, there's, he knows some people, and I talked to someone he knows mm -hmm. okay, uh, today. Mm -hmm. And um, he claims that he meant to say, keep plucking that chicken. Okay. Uh -huh. Now that doesn't really make too much sense. Keep plucking that chicken, but it just could be a stupid anchor joke because the anchor jokes never make any sense anyway, right? So I think it makes more sense than keep fucking that chicken. What does that mean? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense either. So when I talked to the person who knows him, he said, "Now this is secondhand, and he wasn't even positive. So take it with a grain of salt, okay?" But he said, "Oh no, I've heard Ernie say that joke. It's a different joke, and the punchline is keep fucking that chicken." Mm -hmm. So, then that led me to believe there's some chance that Ernie was drunk. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, like he's just like, hey, yeah, that's right, okay, it takes a tough man to make a tender chicken. Keep fucking that chicken. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I have no idea, okay, but fun for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, but then what's amazing is he came on the air again the next night, and hey, since you got that clip of what he said the next night. The next what? night he was in San Diego. Yeah, how did he get to San Diego? All right, let's, San let's check it out. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> but normally, like, the anchors screw up whenever they just read whatever's in the prompter. Right. Like Ron Burgundy, right? But this one, he was improvising. Uh -huh. Maybe that's why they should stick to the script.